guess what? What? It is I, Rubex. <laughs> Welcome to Black Gold Online. My name is Rex. This is going to be my first impressions of this magical MMORPG with uh, a bit of fantasy and a lot of steampunk. It looks like there's two factions to start. The steampunk faction is going to be called Eisenhorst. Very cool. A lot of craftsmen and artisans there. And then we have uh, more of the fantasy faction that... Erlander, something like that. Beautiful, expansive realm of awesomeness. Ooh, this is gonna be tough. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, the fantasy-based uh, faction here. Oh! Okay, well, let's take a look at the classes. A lot of classes to pick from here. First is Blade Master, that's on the list. I have two races I can pick as well. That's pretty cool. The Kosh and the Utorian, something like that. So, okay, Blade Master is the first class. Obviously, uh, probably gonna do pretty well with blades and swords. Uh, that's like, he grew up, uh, his, his father was a blacksmith or something like that, so. Uh, ooh, dancing blade, that's cool. All right, let's see what else we have here. Beastmaster, oh, heck yes. Maybe you control, uh, you can control having pets uh, to fight for you, something like that, I don't know. Okay, spell, spell sword. This is gonna be kind of like, uh, spell swords are good at both magic and sword techniques. Okay, so multitasking, that's pretty cool. Pyromancer, obviously we have a, one of our mages up in the house here. Give me probably elemental damage, right? AoE spells and, be okay, better mobility than most mages. Lightning, oh wow. Fire and chain lightning, that's really not too bad at all. If you're going to be a mage, I think a pyromancer is going to be pretty nice. That said, there's all other ones on the list here. What's this? Geomancer. Followers of nature, okay, their elemental magic can be used for group healing and group support. So we have a healer class. That's actually pretty darn important. Uh, Trust me, everyone wants a healer in their group. Whoa, Skylander, what the heck? Whoa, they harness the power of wind and water to devastate opponents with AoE and control spells? Glacial protection? Oh, jeez, Icicle Crush. I gotta tell you, I might be picking Skycaller, guys. That's pretty epic. Okay, Assassin, we pretty much know assassins are awesome. Uh, melee, daggers, and poison elements, something like that. Okay, this other guy here, wow, another, okay. Spectromancers are mages who do not follow the regular path, they're rebels, okay. And their spells are deadly. And then last on the li list here, oh, pretty cool. Obviously, this is gonna be kind of the more the necro class. They're, they're uh, masters of darkness and death. Uh, they are the masters of, of curses and summonings. Like, something like that. Cool, you know what, I, I'm, I'm sold on the Skycaller, guys. I think this is a really good class for me. I just, I like to freeze people and having control spells like that seem pretty darn cool. Uh, maybe we'll do a female today. Hey yo, yes? Yes or no, guys, quick, three seconds. Female it is, okay, done. I just can't keep my eyes off her forehead. Wow, that's pretty sweet. Uh, wow. Oh, jeez. I'm in love. Okay, the next volleyball superstar champion is uh, going to be in Black Gold Online. Her name's Ripper X. Wow, I'm so sorry. Uh, again, back to the game here. Black Gold. Whoa, one second. Yes, please. Hello? Autumn in the year 1160. Alright, my friends, we made it! We're in Black Gold Online. Now, quickly, uh, Black Gold Online is a steampunk fantasy MMORPG developed by Snail... what? Sm Snail World? Something like that? Snail? It's developed... Uh, this game is developed by the snails. We're gonna jump in and check it out. Apparently, there's, there's over 3,000 dynamic events in this game. Uh, apparently, there's a, a d dynamic event right in front of me, so we're gonna check it out. But, again, I'm pretty happy with my character. Uh, character creation was pretty simple. I'm happy with my Sky Caller. She's gonna be able to, again, freeze people and stuff like that. Uh, the two spells I have down here, I have Energy Bolt, and then I have Concentrated Blast. Now, I don't think I can use that just yet, but who knows. Alright, let's check it out, see what we have here. No! Bad guys! Okay, looks like there's some pretty cool mounts in here. There's like some guy in like a scorpion mount or something like that. Press 1, 2 to use a skill, kill the target. Okay. Again, if you double tap like W... Pretty cool. I can do like uh, dodge moves and stuff like that. Oh, here we go. Let's try this out. The second troop has arrived, sir. They brought us. Oh my goodness, what the hell is that? Okay, that guy's hardcore. Wow, look at that scorpion mount. That's insane. 
all I want in this game is that scorpion mount. Uh, I don't even know if it's a scorpion, but it has like crazy legs. There it is over there! Wait, I gotta kill this thing first. One second. Oh, wait, he's my friend here. Hold on a second. Okay, dub. Okay. Oh, we can still cast spells? Awesome, guys. Okay, I think we finally made it out of the tutorial. Now we're back in uh, the real world here. Operation mode, it says. Click mode selection button. Either operation center or something setting something. Maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe this black gold mode could be cool, but... I'm pretty uh, used to my WASD, so... Again, I made a, a chick Skycaller. She's going to eventually have some pretty cool spells on the ice front. Uh, a lot of uh, control spells. I'm going to be able to freeze enemies and stuff like that. So, kind of looking forward to uh, to seeing what I have here. Like, uh, I guess we'll talk to uh, the first our first quest giver here, uh, Reek. <laughs> His name's Reek. Jeezy smells. Just kidding. All right, let's see what he has to say. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, if you press uh, left shift, check this out. It's not like a total sprint, but it's kind of like just like a quick sprint. That's nice. You can definitely lose that pretty quick, though. Uh, down here, the green, my green bar, that's going to be my, my dodge or my sprint bar. So I'm guessing dodge and sprint. Yeah, it looks like if you dodge or sprint, you're going to be able to, uh, to utilize, uh, you know, use this green bar up, up pretty quick, so. Okay, well, hey, guys, let's uh, kind of take a look at what we have on our GUI here. Obviously, mini-maps on the bottom right. Uh, above that, looks like we have some minimal things here. What's it say? Okay, online break is available to play. Okay, interesting. Map filter. Battle statistics. Novice guide. War mode. Okay, war mode improves performance, but lowers graphical quality. Good for PvP. Hmm, very interesting. Huh. We don't need to do that for now. Uh, snail help. Online GM. That's good to know. You can just click and get a GM. Uh, that's interesting. Again, map filter. Okay. Interesting. It looks like this is probably my connection. Oh, 42 FPS. Good to know. We are on the American server. B for backpack. Okay, save data. Interesting. Okay, on the top right here, guys, we do have uh, character. What is this? What? Hello? Friends? Group T? Okay, guild. So when you uh, hover your mouse over the top right here, uh, sometimes there's more than one option. Look, you can actually record in-game. That's kind of cool. I'm not sure exactly how that works, but... Okay, character skills. Let's go to skills real quick, because I already am level 3 here. Okay, it looks like something unlocks when I am uh, hit level 4. Punishing gales. Okay, 13, 70%, 77% spell attack. Damage if caster has calmness, this still knocks enemies back. Okay, cool. Good to know. And then on the frost side of things, it looks like nothing really unlocks until I'm uh, level 8, which is fine. And we have a third set right here. This Maybe this is kind of like rare. It's only 18 and 26. Maybe this is like some of my rare spells here. Those glacier. Wow, that looks pretty awesome. Sweet. And then this stuff right here, emboldened. Uh, frost mark. Whoa, what the heck? What if we had like stuff like this in, in, in the real world? That'd be kind of kind of cool. Like stuff that like just like goes around like that. Like as like glowing blue uh, with like weird symbols that you don't know. Maybe it's like a teleport or something like that. A portal or something like that. So. Okay, the next victim of the day is this poor dryad. This peaceful poor little animal that has done nothing to me. It's just trying to eat grass and enjoy the day. Uh, unfortunately uh, <laughs> this one's gonna die. I, had, I have to do it for a quest. I, I don't want to but I'm going to. My number one spell, Energy Bolt, like, it doesn't really have a respawn time, so I can just, like, continue to shoot it really fast. Check this out. You know, some spells have a respawn time, but that's just, it's just instant. That's pretty awesome. I'm riding one of these things. What the heck just happened? I guess you can tame, uh, you can tame wildlife in this game, too. Unless it's just for this quest, but I don't think so. I think you might actually be able to tame wildlife. Probably certain uh, certain wildlife probably can't tame everything, but uh, pretty cool. Wow! Oh, jeez! Wow, look at those uh, like purple trees! It's pretty cool. It must, be, uh, it must be autumn or something in this uh, game, Black Gold Online Beta. Pretty cool. I like purple stuff. Pur pretty colors, you know, that's pretty awesome. But, uh, cool. It's a great way to stay in shape. All right, here we go. Let's keep going here. Agishka! It's me, Rip Rex. 
Dude, it's been like three years! Agishka and I used to party when we were younger, but uh, we won't get into that. Okay, complete the quest. Okay, I just totally unlocked a new uh, spell thing here. Punishing Gale. So right, let's, let's take a look. Okay, deals 13 plus 10. Where's my glider? Where is my glider? I'm just kidding. Okay. Again, I'm just kind of following the mini-map. Looks like there's a lot of different merchants here as well. That's kind of cool. Like, you know, uh, that guy's a potion merchant because he has a potion above his head. I wonder if other merchants have that as well. Yeah, there's the bank guy right there. It's like a cha uh, there's a Chase Private Banker or something like that. Follow the mini-map to our recycle. <laughs> I'm just going to call it the recycle uh, bar here. It's the circle, you know, it looks kind of like a recycling, uh, like, animated logo, so we're just gonna, we're gonna go there and uh, recycle our trash here. Just kidding. All right. Oh, here we go. Cuts it. Oh, no, there's an attack! Oh, jeez, it's like a... Like, these cute little furry animals are just playing with each other, but I think, uh, actually, I think something serious is about to happen, though. The beast may be enraged by the wizards hiding in the dungeon nearby. Can you go and investigate, please? I will only investigate for five green experimental crystals. Heck yes. Oh, jeez. Wow, I just got really excited. They just pretty much told us where all the black gold was. Explore dungeons. Enter the dungeon and get the wizard's secret treasure. Yes. Whoa, it's beautiful. This is like the vacation spot of black gold online. And I found it. This is pretty sweet. Again, I'm, I'm way off from the dungeon. Where the heck is the dungeon here? Oh, we have to go this way. Darn it. Oh, jeez. I wonder if there's fall damage. I guess we'll find out right now. Fall damage? Oh, ouch! Ouch! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> pretty water. Water's pretty realistic. That's cool. Okay, tell me the dungeon's in, in here. It has to be. Hello? <gasps> yes, it's giving me a clue. That's kind of cool. All right. Obviously, the entrance is here somewhere, guys. Maybe it's on the other side of this. Yes! I found it! Oh, jeez! Okay, secret dungeon. Wizards hide out. Yes! I love dungeons. <laughs> I'm so... Oh, there's bats. Watch out. Watch this. Watch this move. Doesn't do a lot of damage, though. I'm going to have to use that as a combination. One second. One second. Let me just kill this guy real quick. So, I mean, the best thing about this spell is it does work with Calmness. I don't think I have Calmness, though. Is this Calmness? No? Isn't... Wait wait a second. Isn't Calmness passive, though? Hold on a second. See, I have Calmness already. I'm guessing that's going to work, but who knows. Because Calmness... Oh, jeez! Whoa! <laughs> okay, there's traps in this game. Guys, when you're in dungeons in Black Gold Online, just be careful. There's traps and stuff. That was crazy. Seriously, that was crazy. There better be Black Gold in here. I'm going to be pissed. If you are a fan of Steampunk, uh, this definitely could be a game for you. Granted, I, I didn't pick the Steampunk side. I picked the other side, so. Pretty cool. So, oh, there's some Steampunk ships up there. Oh, I wonder if you can fly ships in this game later on. Whoa, look at all these ships. Again, my friends, that is all the time we have in this video. My goodness, just time flies when we when we do these first impressions. More information on Black Gold Online here at MMORPG.com. Thanks again, guys, for tuning in. My name is Ripper X.